In this video, I'm gonna give you step one on how to get your dream job. Last week, I made part one in this video series on how to get your dream job. And a dream job is simply a job where you are excited, inspired, and look forward to going to work every day. And I think it's really important that everybody finds a job that they love. So I thought a very practical place to start with step one is your resume. This is a very practical thing that everybody needs when they apply for a job. And if you've ever sat down and worked on your resume, I'm sure you've run into what I call the resume paradox. And the resume paradox is this. You need a job to get experience, but you need experience to get a job. So I'm sure many of you have already experienced this. So you may be at a job here that you may not like, and you want to get to this job up here, but to apply for this job requires, let's say, five years experience already doing this job. So how do you get from this job to this higher job? And that is the ultimate paradox. Let's look at an example of this. So let's say you're a secretary. Let's say you got the secretary job right out of high school and you have ambitions. You don't want to just be this secretary forever. And what you really want to do is you've decided you really want to be an interior decorator. Well, this is the problem. How do you get from being a secretary to being an interior decorator? When you put your resume together, all you have on your resume is your job as a secretary. You have no work experience to apply for a job as an interior decorator. The good thing is there is a very simple way to resolve the resume paradox. And that simple way is to do free work. So very few people want to actually implement this. But let's look at the example of the interior decorator. So if you're a secretary and you want to be an interior decorator, there are so many ways that you could go out there on your own without getting paid and build up your portfolio that would make you qualified for interior decorator jobs. It just takes time and it takes effort. So I want to take a moment and look at six specific ways you can do this. And these are six things you can do on your free time to build up your resume. The first way is through related studies. Now this is very important. It's important that you are knowledgeable and understand the area you're trying to get into. So all of the knowledge and all the studying you can do about interior decorating that would be important to do. You should be able to speak intelligently about all the different aspects and also know all about the new trends that are coming out in the industry. The second thing is successful projects. You can just go out there and start doing projects. You could do projects on your own house. You could do projects for your family. Take photographs and that's the start of your portfolio. The third way, and this is really important, is to work with major companies in your area. So I'm sure there's a company in your area that does what you want to do. Well, go and do a free internship with them. Say you want to get experience and you want association with this company and you're going to learn a lot. You might even get a job offer from that. So that's important and that's something you can put on your resume. The next one is positive reviews. So when you go out and do any of this stuff, you can talk with your customer or talk with the person you're working with and get a positive review from them. That will go a long way on your resume. The next way is awards. Now, there's tons of contests out there. Enter some of your work into these contests. If you can get some of these awards, that looks spectacular on your resume. The final way is industry groups. Now, there's a lot of industry groups out there you can be a part of. Um, go and research them. They're always doing events. There's always ways you, you can volunteer to help out in these groups. Go do that and mingle and network and get to know people. This is a great way to find job opportunities and just understand what's going on in the industry. The idea here is very simple. The person who spends their nights and weekends working towards their dream job 
is more likely to get it. It's as simple as that. If you want a job, just start working towards it. So this simple idea really makes your resume stand out. So just compare this person who's willing to do all this free work with somebody else who wants to spend their free time going to parties and playing video games. Now both of these people are going to walk into the same interview room. Who do you think is going to stand out? The point of a resume is to show who has put in the work, who has put in the effort. And so if you've spent all this time and effort building up this resume, you're going to stand out. You're going to go into that interview room and it's going to be apparent to whoever is asking you questions that you're willing to put in the work and you love what you do and you know how to do it. This is not a really complicated idea. It's just that the people who are willing to put in the work are going to get the job. And I gotta be clear here, I mean, we are talking about a lot of free work. You might have to be doing free work for a decade, but that job opportunity that you're looking for will eventually pop up. And when it does, your resume will be ready. So let me give you a story from when I first started out. And I'm going to give you a number of these stories in these videos um, that talks about my journey and how I ended up being an accountant. I started my career working in the film industry. I'm from Los Angeles, and many people think of the film industry as a dream job. I know I did, um, and I've had some great opportunities working for some incredible film companies, some of which I'll talk about in these videos. But I started out just like everybody else. I had no experience on my resume. I had no connections and I had no money. Um, so how did I go from that to landing my dream job? Well, a lot of it had to do with doing a lot of free work in the industry. And that gave me an incredible resume that helped me land some great jobs. So I'll give you an example. My first internship, and I've talked about this before in other videos, um, I got a job working for the film production company Live Planet. And this was Matt Damon and Ben Affleck's production company. And this happened a long time ago, so I don't even know if this company is still around. But at the time, it was a really hot company. Um, they had just produced the reality TV show Project Greenlight. And this was a competition show where people came and they pitched their movie deals and the winner of the competition got their movie funded. And then the reality show followed uh, the production of this film. This was exactly the type of company I wanted on my resume in order to land the jobs in the film industry that I wanted. So this was a summer internship I did while I was in college. And I did the work for free. And this is how I got the job. So summer was rapidly approaching. And I knew that I wanted to fill out my resume. And so I thought I would just go down to this company's main offices. And I didn't have a car at the time. And so I hopped on the bus and I rode down to their offices in Santa Monica. Now Los Angeles is just like every other city out there they have really confusing bus routes. And so I'm going on this bus route and I'm, sit, I'm standing at the front of the bus, hanging on, asking the bus driver questions like, okay, what, what route should I transfer off to and what is the best stop I need to get off at? And I remember there was an old lady who was sitting at the, on the front seat next to me. And she turns to me and she criticizes me and she says, don't go where you don't know. That's what I always say. And <laughs> I will always remember that moment because that comment was such a contrast from my mindset. I was on my way to accomplish things and do things in my career and I was headed into the unknown. Um, and I bet that lady is still sitting on that front seat of that bus traveling the same bus route. But anyway, um, I eventually got to my destination and so I hop off the bus. I walk into the offices at Live Planet 
and I introduce myself. I say, I am Zach DiGregorio and I want to work for you for free. And the people at the office there, they turn to me, they turn to me and they say, who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> and so I was kicked out of the offices, but before I left, I got from the secretary, I convinced her to give me the phone number of one of the managers. And so I went back home and the next day I called up the manager. And actually the secretary had passed along my message and told this manager who I was and what I wanted. And so the manager knew all about me. And so he was very nice and he said, hey, look, we just can't have random people walk off the street and work for us. Now, maybe if this was a formal internship program with a major university, maybe we could work something out. <laughs> now, um, I wasn't at university at the time, but you know, to take their internship class, I would have had to pay for a whole nother class. It was gonna be a lot of money. Um, so I had another idea. I hopped back on the bus, rode down to the local community college, signed up there, paid them a hundred bucks to take their internship class and got that paperwork. Took that paperwork, hopped back on the bus, went back to Life Planet, handed in this packet and said, here you go, I'm a formal student, signed up for their internship class, let's do this. The very next week, I was working for Live Planet. And all of this happened with just great timing because they were just starting a new film production. And so they were going to produce a movie over the summer and that was the movie I worked on. I spent my summer working on this movie. And don't get the wrong idea, um, I wasn't spending my days just hanging out with celebrities. That wasn't my job. <laughs> I was an intern. And actually what I was supposed to do is spend most of my time driving around LA running errands for the company. Well, this was a problem for me because I didn't have a car, but I was preparing for this moment. Um, I had been saving for the previous two years, just scratching together every dollar that I could because I knew I would eventually need to get a car. Um, so I pulled everything out of my savings, went out and bought a beat up car because that was all I could afford, but it was enough. <laughs> It got me around town for that summer. So throughout that summer, I worked for Live Planet for two days a week for free. And the rest of the time, I worked at my other paying job so that I'd have food to eat. Now, the point of this story is just that I did a lot of free work. And all of this free work went right onto my resume. And that job helped me land the next job, which helped me land the next job, which ultimately led to some really cool jobs in Hollywood. So let's go back to the resume because this is really important. A dream job is not a normal job and you need an exceptional resume. So what you need to do is you need to look at your resume and build out those six points that I laid out earlier. So let's look at them again. You need to look at related studies that you've done, successful projects, work experience with major companies, positive reviews from customers, awards, and industry groups. Now the cool thing is these are six things that you can start working on in your free time. You can just start building up towards this, start building towards your dream job, start building out your resume. And it is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. But if you start working towards your dream job, when that job opportunity pops up, you will be ready. One of my goals with this video series is to change people's perspective about their jobs. Your career is an adventure. Your career is an exploration of whatever it is you want to explore. So you're gonna spend like 40 years doing some career. What is it that you wanna explore? What is it that you wanna have fun doing? If you look at your job from that perspective, when you look back on your career, you're more likely to be satisfied with your choices. This was step one on how to get your dream job. 
Next week, I'm going to talk about step two, which is about job descriptions. And I have a lot of great insights here, so definitely come back next week and check that out. If you think that doing free work is important, go ahead and leave a comment down below. If you agree with me, if you disagree with me, let me know. If you like this video, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I release a new video every week, so come back and check out next week's video.